Hello, everyone. This is Kaizen Base. Mr. Kai, today we learn about what is the Toyota production system. Definitely, the Toyota production system, which comes from Japan, is famous in the world. Even the people working in manufacturing, working members of society are supposed to know that. So, let's get started with today's lecture. Mio seems to study hard something. She is reading a book about the Toyota production system. So, I will see how much she understands it. Mio, are you studying the Toyota production system? Yes, I am. Do you understand what kind of production system it is? Yes. Of course. Wow, that sounds great, Mio. Well, will you introduce what kind of system it is? Sure. First of all, the Toyota production system is the production system formed from the way of thinking and the management technique to improve a company's competitiveness. In the Toyota production system, through the thorough elimination of waste, the best quality, the shortest lead time, and the lowest cost are aspired. That's right. To give an additional explanation, we are likely to think that the system is a production system to be applied in a certain factory. But, it is the way of thinking to get a competitiveness, and the systematic techniques developed by making efforts for many years. Remember, the Toyota production system is not completed, and it has been developing. Yes. I know. Before studying it, I thought the Toyota production system had meant the Kanban. But I found it was not simple like that. I was surprised some parts were close to the philosophy of improving competitiveness as a company. Absolutely. That's a good view. We know the Kanban as a very famous word, and that might bring a strong image of the system. As you felt, it is easy to understand the system, by thinking it is close to the philosophy rather than the tools or the methods. Anyway, Mio, do you know the background of the birth of the system? No, I don't. I don't think that far. Would you like to tell me the background? Sure. So, let's learn about it. At the beginning of the 20th century, as typified the Ford Model T, the mass production era began in the United States. As the demand for mass production, the moving assembly line production using conveyor lines was developed. However, at that time, the market size in Japan was small. It was not the situation where mass production was introduced. The small lot production of many products was demanded, which was to make many kinds of products in small amounts. Under the circumstance, it was clear that Japan would not catch up with the US in a similar way to it. So, people in the Toyota Motor Corporation kept thinking how the costs could get cheaper in the small lot production of many products, and they roused themselves to improve its competitiveness. The efforts of their predecessors developed today's Toyota production system. That is, it is a production system gathered the wisdom and the ingenuity to provide an expensive and high-quality products in the environment where the mass production cannot be introduced. Oh, I see. I am a little bit surprised that because I thought for sure that the Toyota production system could be applied to only mass production. Yes, you are right. It is a misunderstanding that the system means mass production. It should be best if you remember that it is a production system to respond to the customer needs in the small lot production of many products. I understand that. I will remember that, certainly. Now, we make a summary of today's lecture. The Toyota production system is the idea of systematizing the way of thinking and the management technique to improve a company's competitiveness. Also, it is a production system to respond to the customer needs in the small lot production of many products. Besides, it is not completed, but it has been developing. Now, you understand what the Toyota production system is. That's all about today's lecture. So, see you at the next theme.